Hi, today I'm setting up my encaustic painting, but what I really did here was I took sand and crowns and put it in the sun and let it do its own thing, but I'm going to pour resin to seal these. I love this one. Same thing, sand, crowns, sun, and I'm going to seal it today, okay, with some epoxy. Okay, so I poured the resin on top of my encaustic. I guess you could call it encaustic because it's crown, which is wax and sand. And it just makes the colors pop. Look at that. This is my favorite one that I was always afraid. Oh my gosh, you can't even see it. Look at that. So pretty. Very happy and pleased with that. So I poured the resin on my encaustic, which I did in California, which is basically crown, which is wax and sand that I let melt in the sun. Uh-oh, someone's calling in. Hey, so earlier I told you about my encaustic paintings that I did in L.A. or Topanga, which were sand, sun, and melted crown, and it was very delicate, so I wanted to seal it, so I put some of this resin on top. I'm not going to turn the camera, but here's another one that I did. Look at that. Makes the colors just pop. You know, I took my blow dryer to it to get all the dust out of it and anything because it's been with me for such a long time. And then once you seal it, there's no going wrong. If some dust gets in there, it's okay. Look at that. Really, this painting will be hung horizontally with this at the bottom. But, oh, my God. So you can take this resin and pour it on top and work with wax, sand, and whatever else you want. Look at that. Pop. Very pleased. Look at this. Whoop, 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 whoop. Actually, this painting was done sort of the way Norton Wisdom does his paintings. You know, like any stage, like any computer, there's a middle and squares. 